after you got your divorce, did you guys, well, when you filed for divorce, did you guys separate before the divorce was final? Yeah, we separated. I told him August 20, I told him August, 2017, I wanted a divorce. So August to October was, we were still living together. We had a little boy, Connor. Um, and he was, he moved out by January of 2018. And then our divorce was finalized September of 2018. So there was a journey there before we were officially divorced. Okay. So while you guys were separated, were you already dating? Yeah. <laughs> were you, yeah. <laughs> were, you, were you dating your uh, husband? Was I dating my new husband? No. Okay. Because the no. reason, reason I asked you this is be, because I recently ended things with a woman who was separated from her husband and it was awesome. It was an awesome relationship. But um, the, 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 it kept taking for so it, it took too long. It's taking so long for the fake papers to get filed. And I feel like it's um, disrupting her energy and the energy in the relationship. And I was like, look, it, I'm happy. I would love to continue things. Just get at me when this thing is done, 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 done. Yeah. Done, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, I think that's important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What was um for your new husband? What was different with the way that, how did you manage money in your first marriage versus your second marriage? So my first marriage, I was always the one managing money. And that was another red flag that I did not pay attention to when I got married because I wanted to fix him. I was going to fix him. It was going to be great. Um, I, so I've always managed the money, just like my mom taught me, mostly check register, check register style. Here's your bills. Here's the money. Make sure you get your bills paid, save for your future. And my husband and I, my, my ex-husband and I, we're on the same page to the extent that he went along with it. But then when I did something he didn't like, there was a fight, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever it was, whatever decision I made that he didn't like. So he went, he would go along with how the money was being managed in the household until he didn't agree with it. And then we'd have a fight about it, reconcile it, move on. So that became the pattern in the marriage. And then also same thing for me, compliance went along with it went along with it, him making decisions, him purchasing things, him spending money, him avoiding conversations. I allowed it. And then I just got really good at cleaning it up. 